Right, in this video, we are going to be looking at how much to torque the uh, lug wheel nuts or lug wheel bolts on the modern car. By the way, that's not how you hold the torque wrench. That's about it. Example, uh, I'll show you later how to do it. It says here, when I type into a um, search engine, between 80 and 110 foot pounds. Now I normally work in newton meters. To convert that 80 foot pounds is 108 newton meters. And 110 is 149, 150 newton meters. I can tell you, if you torque your wheel nuts to 150 newton meters, there's no way that you can, as an individual, be able to use your spanner wrench, uh, the one that comes with the car particularly, or the one I use, the one that comes with like a, like a cross. They've got different kind of sizes on, uh, um, on each end, like, like a 21, 19, 17, and, uh, and 22, I think. So one of those ones I use, I don't think I'll be able to take a wheel nut off that set at 150 newton meters I, you can't do it you need a you need a uh, pro, uh, extender bar or something like that right however let's have a look at what the what the old Haynes manual says now I'm going to go back in terms of time uh, the latest first so this one on the Civic I'll try and get you a bit more light 2012, I've returned it on the right page. So, 2006 to 2012, it's for my Mark 8. It says here, see that? Road wheel nut. 108 Newton meters. So, it kind of matches what the first figure is um, on, on the search engine. But don't forget, this is modern. And this is already like 15 years old. If we go back in time a little bit more, this is for 2010, up to 2010. Vauxhall Corsa, same page, section 10, road wheel bolts, 110. Almost exactly the same, so they are kind of agreeing. So it's the lower end of what was recommended uh, today. That was a few years ago now. Alright, so what's this one? This one is um, Berlingo, isn't it? Citroen Berlingo 2010. And this one says, Road Wheel Bolts, 90 Newton meters. So we're coming down. Hmm. 66 foot pounds. Hmm. So we're going down. Look at my oldest book I have. At the moment, Ford Mondeo 2003. This is the Mark III Mondeo 2007. Now, Mondeo is a big car, lots of torque because it's a two litre, so it's not a small car at all. What is the what is the roll wheel nuts? It's over this side. Let me just get you a bit more light. There it is. Yeah, roll wheel nuts, 85. Or 63 foot pounds. So, obviously, the latest information hopefully is the best information. Um, however, it's a little bit confusing. But what I have done is I have gone and tightened my roll wheel nuts on both my cars to 90 newton meters uh, previously. I've kind of gone along with with the Mondeo between the Mondeo and the, um, the Berlingo. Set up to about 90 uh, a couple of months ago, and I've left it to see if they become undone or anything. So I don't know what the answer is. So in a minute, I'll go down and uh, set my torque wrench to 90 to see if there's any. Does it is it moving as I'm as I'm as I'm uh, rotating, as I'm talking it. If it is moving, that means it's come a little bit undone. It needs to go up and uh, 
up a little bit then. And we'll find out what probably is the best torque setting then for cars. So, so it's not going to come undone. And also, you can undo it when you have a roadside puncture or something like that, you want to change the wheel. Alright. So this is a torque wrench. Uh, I really need a deep socket for what I'm going to test next. But anyway, <clears throat> let's test it at 90 newton meters. So pounds for foot, foot pounds I mean. Uh, I have to undo this bottom bit. You can see the scale. It, got, it starts in 30. Next one is 60. Is it 50, 30, 50, 60? So alternate scales. It says newton meters on this side. <coughs> so rough wind it to <coughs> where I want it to go. And it's 70 now. Keep in mind you have to you might have to undo this a little bit. Like because it gets stuck. Right. Uh 90's there. So I'm on 72. <clears throat> so this I should so now I'm on 80. It's 10 more. Now we now we go onto this scale. Should be 90 dead on. Tighten it up. Okay. <clears throat> so if 90 new meters like in old days was correct <clears throat> it shouldn't come loose I've been driving it for two months set at nine zero <clears throat> it will fit it should fit there we go. so it should just click straight away there you go it's clicking straight away <clears throat> it starts spinning in and whatnot, you know. Yep. So, yeah. there was a slight slip there. I must admit. Do it properly. Hold it here. good <clears throat> you get what I mean there's one that is slightly slippy it's not a fair test because I would say the and that one did slip so <clears throat> So it's worthwhile checking it once in a while. Check it from this side. So 90 is pretty good. <coughs> A slight slip in one or two of them. So conclusion, probably 100 might be better.
Okay, so I call it 100, probably better. Final answer, 100 is probably better. 